This is a quick follow-up to my previous video analyzing the factory trigger on the MNP 9 pistol. Uh, currently I have installed the Apex Duty Carry Action Enhancement Kit. Um, in my opinion this kit really cleans up the trigger. Uh, I'll go ahead and demonstrate that now. So initially everything seems the same. You still have this uh, changing tri trigger face when you disengage the trigger safety. But what's different is when you, as you pull rearward, the firing pin block is now much more domed and smooth, so it doesn't add a lot of feedback into the trigger. It just feels like one continuous rearward movement. I mean, if you really analyze or, or sit there and feel your way through the trigger, you can feel when you hit that block, and it does add a tiny bit of resistance. But for the most part, if you're using this, it just feels very smooth. And then once you're up against the sear, you know you're there, but the sear is definitely lighter than the factory sear. And the brake is much nicer with less over travel. Uh, the reset on this pistol is also a lot better. Um, you can kind of see there's no false reset now, so it's already reset. All in all, I'd say the Apex kit is a much needed improvement on the M&P. In this particular one, I stuck with the factory trigger spring. I thought the Apex spring was a little heavy, and I just intend to shoot matches with this, so I'm not going to be carrying it. I didn't need the, you know, safety of a really heavy heavy trigger. So, I'd say if, uh, if you're thinking about doing it because you really don't like the factory trigger, go ahead and do it. Um, if you just want to mess with your gun but you're happy with the factory trigger um, I don't see any point in spending a hundred bucks you know if you're already happy but they also sell some other kits if you don't like this uh, trigger safety here the the way it bends and changes shape but unfortunately by installing those kits and if you intend to go to matches it will put you in a different division because that's considered an external part of a gun that's not sights so you'd no longer be able to shoot this in stock service pistol or in production division, depending on what kind of matches you're shooting. Um, anyway, but hope this helped. Thanks.